Hey guys, Zach with Creative Lighting here, and today we're going to do a video over C7 and C9 Christmas lights. You get a lot of questions asking about the differences between these two bulbs, and so I just wanted to address a lot of that and explain um, kind of the differences between a C7 and a C9. So, we'll start with C7. This is the smaller of the two bulbs. Uh, it's a candelabra or E17 base, so it's a small base for a small bulb. These are about the same size as like a, a night light uh, that you would find in your home. And uh, normally these come in 5 watts, although we do have some in 7 watts. And with LED, they are all the way down to about 0.96 watts, so even less than 1 watt. These are normally used on Christmas trees indoors or outdoors, depending on how big the tree is and how many lights you want to use or how big a light you want to use. They are great for outlining buildings, roof lines, things like that. But you usually want to use a C7 on smaller buildings or uh, decorating projects where you're not too far from a road or wherever the people that are going to view your display are, are going to be looking at it from. Because it is small and uh, from a long distance you want to step it up to a larger bulb to kind of compensate for that viewing distance. So that's where the C9 comes in. The C9 is a much larger bulb. They feature a intermediate or E17 base, and uh, just like the C7, they have a couple different options so far as the wattage goes. They start at 7 watts instead of 5, and go up to 10 watts, and then we also have them in a LED format, which is 0.96 watts, just like the C7. These are a much bigger bulb when you compare the size. Um, this whole bulb could fit in the glass of the C9, so a lot bigger. They are perfect for outlining a roof or a commercial building, something that's very tall. Anytime you see a, a large hospital or a restaurant or something downtown in your city lit up along the, the top of the building, it's usually a C9 bulb. They're great for big trees. They're great for pretty much anywhere you need this larger, little bit higher wattage bulb to decorate. Both of these bulbs come in either a transparent color style, this is a transparent clear, but they come with a, uh, a coating that you can kind of see through, but it gives you a pretty pure representation of the color. We also have them in an opaque or a painted style bulb, which has a real soft glow. And we also have them in a twinkle style. Cool thing about twinkle bulbs like this, if you mix them in about 10-25% on a large tree, it makes it look like uh, whatever you're decorating is sparkling or just slightly twinkling. It's really cool. But thanks for checking out the video. I hope that breaks down some of the differences between these two classic lights. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share it, and stay tuned for some more videos that we're going to be uploading soon. Thanks for checking it out.